I am Dungeon Master, your guide in the realm of Dungeons and Dragons. Alright, welcome back everyone. I am the Dungeon Master and this is Dragons of War. We are rejoining the party after they had gone back to the village of Brotnyabad in order to try and protect it from the rampaging horde of orcs and goblins and bugbears and trolls and ogres and everything else that you don't want to see on a on a moonlit night and they went to find out what aid they could be eventually uh the mayor was able to kind of point them uh to where they would be the most helpful keeping the rear guard where the goblins are quite crafty and would be trying to send a subversion force in order to try and get the gates to the town open uh, while the main battle was happening. And so you guys went and uh, have been holding the bridge. However, um, the battle has taken a turn as the orc commander has ridden in on his giant auroch and he is uh you know here to to chew bubblegum and and kick butt and bubblegum hasn't been invented yet so as uh, you guys found out, we'll invent some bubble gum. It might distract him. <laughs> As you guys found out, he is quite. Tough. I'm a druid slash cleric, not an artificer. Okay, well, next time. Okay. Pray for bubble gum. <laughs> uh, 
as you guys found out, he is he is quite good at the uh, at the ladder, and so um, you are going to be fighting against said orc war chief and his minions as you were at the end of last session and we will pick right up with the start of round five with lucy's turn now uh lucy you missed with your hail of thorns and that's why it's still on there right now uh, until you hit with that hail of thorns or that duration, you, if you open the combat tracker, the two crossed swords up in the upper right there, you can see, uh, it says D colon eight. And that's how many rounds you have left to where if you don't hit within the next eight rounds, it will expire, but you have eight more shots to try and hit them with your hail of thorns so it is your turn all right so uh who are you gonna, who are you... i'm still trying to get my map right sorry guys oh is the map not loaded for you just yet no, it's not. Uh, i'm just having trouble i have trouble uh using uh, my pad I don't have my mouse. All right. So. Targeting the work war chief. Yeah, if I can find him. Oh, you got it. You already targeted him, actually. Yes. Yes. Also, give us a start us off strong. Give us a 20. (laughs) Gable, is mom mom need help there? Gabe? Yeah. Mom, do you look okay? You going right block? Uh, I'm good. Mom, you need the cat's trying to help. Yes, the cat's trying to help. No! Oh! <laughs> Starting okay. off strong. <laughs> so, you called it! Woo! <laughs> you, did, you did call it. This is right. Now, in oh. order to... Uh, do Ow. what it says there. You'll see description. You do two standard critical hits to the target. So now what you need to do is um, roll your damage for your longbow just like normal. Uh, damn it. Oh, pretty- wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me fix something here because this... I've been doing things kind of a janky way in order to make it kind of simple in order to do the Hail of Thorns damage, um, but I'm going I, I, I'm going to do it a different way now in order to um, make it right, I guess. So give me just one second. With your hail of thorns. Your, your, your longbow eviscerates him and the hail of thorns follows, dealing substantial, hopefully completely overwhelming damage to the goblin boss and his surrounding minions. This is what we are hoping for. We are awaiting. You mean the I'm or- wait, awaiting instruction. All right. So uh, now. Yes. You will you will see under your hail of thorns that there is a second running man. Although sadly we never did get a sequel. But <laughs> you mean the very there's uh at the very end of the line. Yes, at the yes. very end of the line. And if you click on that, it is going to add one D da- t- one blah, 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 blah. This is why I get paid the big bucks for DMing. It's because of my eloquent <laughs> eloquence with words. <laughs> uh, anyway, it will it will add it will add one d10 damage to your attack, and because you have a critical hit, it's going to double that damage as well. And now it's going to just make everything right when you roll the damage. 
So now we're going to roll damage. Thank you. Not the no, damage. That's up, up, no, up. It's not going up. Otherwise, we'd be rolling like double the amount of rolls we're about to because you have to do all of this all over again. So now just roll the damage for the longbow, not the Hail of Thorns damage, just the longbow. It'll automatically add your Hail of Thorns damage. It's not letting me roll up for some reason now. Uh, maybe uh, click, like, click on, oh. the, on notes. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Okay, I got it. I got it. I'm not sure why it wouldn't. Yeah, I. Yeah. I was just seeing that and wondering myself because you had ammunition, so that seemed odd that it wasn't allowing you to use your longbow. Let me uh, make sure it's um, in your inventory. But for now, what you want to do is go to where it says plus slash minus up in the upper right under modifiers. And then there will be a little section for damage at the bottom. And one of the gray buttons says critical. Um, I... In the in the entire page, not your character sheet, the, the whole uh, Fantasy Grounds page, where you see the co combat tracker... That same set of buttons has a plus slash minus called modifiers. And then once you open that, you'll see attack and then damage. And you want to click the critical under damage. Now roll the damage again. And then, oh, wait. What am I doing? Yeah, she, she rolled the damage there. She found it before she got found the modifier. Yeah, it, it, it would, it would, do oh no, you already did the, the critical damage on the first one. That was automatic. We need to do the critical modifier on this one because you got a double critical hit when you rolled. Anytime you roll, a, uh, I'll explain what happened here with the critical hit table. Anytime you roll a critical hit, it then rolls a dice that uh, if you roll a five or a six, it rolls an extra effect. And then when you get an extra effect, it rolls a d20 again, and you got the effect eviscerate. So your arrow is going to strike this guy right in his stomach and rip open his guts and intestines with your hunter's... Uh, your hail of thorn, uh, it explodes and, and does a lot of damage to him. So it's going to do two critical hits rather than just the one standard critical hit that you already got. And so now in order to force it to roll the critical hit damage again, we have to click on where it says critical. But first, before you roll the longbow's damage one more time, you do in fact have to add the hail of thorns damage uh, by clicking on that second effect once again. It's the, uh, the, do I hit the running man? I hit the last running man? Yes, yeah. correct. There you go. And then if you already clicked on critical under the damage, then you just roll the longbow's damage again, just like you just did. Perfect. The orc warchief is heavily damaged. Your arrow seems to have, you know, ripped through him, dealing untold amounts of damage to his intestines and guts. And now that you have dealt all of that damage to him, you then also uh, have to um, deal the damage to um, each creature... Within five feet of him, uh, first they have to make a saving throw, though. So click on uh, the Oruk, just the Oruk. Just the Oruk? The Oruk, the big, uh, the big uh, bull oh. thing, though. Okay. Control. Oh, control. Yep. Control left click, and then just, and then just roll the saving throw under the Hail of Thorns, which is uh, the first dice. 
Uh, I. The next, oh, the first one in, next to Halo Thorns. Yes. Uh, mom, mom. Nope, that's correct. All right. He's clicking the uh, orc. Oh. Yes, I yeah. know. I I forgot that uh, he was entitled to I, a saving a throw save. as well. So he has to take off some of the damage, but that's okay. It's only uh, 21 of the damage, so your your arrow still did a ton of damage to him. And unfortunately, the Oruk makes his save as well. So although your arrow explodes into the Oruk's hide, his thick bull-like skin manages to uh, resist mo much of the damage. Any other creatures that I target? Uh, no. Nope. The only other creatures would be your party, and I do believe the last session I had uh, ruled that the Orc War Chief was in the five-foot square back from them in yes. order for you to be able to target him and the Orc without risking your allies. Okay, um, do I just end my turn now? Then if you wish to end your turn, you can. You you would also uh, be able to once again use your uh, bonus action to cast Hail of Thorns. That way it's already queued up for you, but you can wait till your next turn as well. It's not a big deal. Um, Thank you. Since, since we'll need everything, you want to play Scout? You want to? He's, he's not able to join us, according to the thing here. Do you want to just drop him out? Oh, he's not able to join us. Boo! All right. Uh, yeah, I think he's going to kind of um, take a bit of a back seat here. Okay. So basically, um, consider Scout to be fighting creatures that are not like on the combat tracker but are like coming up uh running through the fields and all that and he's just sniping them okay um i guess i'm gonna hit what's in front of me probably the easiest thing to do um and see if i can get rid of work one here at least knock him down a little bit um So I'm going to use my long sword, and we're going to see what happens. And if it hits, you get to use your brute, your brute speciality. Remember? Um, no, I don't. Gamer, what is my brute speciality? It's already added. Right. In. Your your faultless long sword strikes the orc in front of you as she desperately tries to get her axe up to defend the blow, but your bugbear strength smashes through her defenses. She is heavily damaged. Hmm. Okay. We wish the goblin boss to die but that's gonna happen. Roland, save us! Roland! Roland, uh... Come forward and save us! Do you, do you guys have a better weapon in this club for me? Uh, Pesci's holding up his bow. And is uh, offering the arrows out from his pack. I, I will take it. One second. He says, uh, here, we need another Lucy. <laughs> do you like what she's doing? Oh, I'm sure I'll be just as good. I'm like a level one commoner, you know, this, this should work out fine. All right. So. I have faith in you. Uh, let me and see. if I had any points of Arctic inspiration, I would have used them. I just uh. need to add in this attack real quick. He's got a thousand things that he's got. It's, it's, it's a paladin. 
Thousands are complicated. Yeah, no, I know. It seems a lot. Very hmm. I don't know. Maybe not. Okay. This should work. Oh, I forgot to target. It's okay, it wasn't a good throw anyway. <laughs> right. Right. You better, Roland. Come on. No, 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 19. As he strikes the goblin, killing oh. him with one of his, his arrows. Roland, there you go, man. There you go. Very good impression of Lucy. Very good. <laughs> um, I guess I'm going to just try to hit the Orox. Uh, wait, 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 wait. What, 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 what? Add a smite, add a smite. You, d you don't add the smite until you hit. Oh. Uh, can I use heroism here? I get this thing, heroism? Yes. Okay. Gives me gives me additional hit points to start my turn. Do I do I use that? What do you think? The, uh... uh the heroism gives you additional hit points? I mean you can you can use that, but uh you're not yeah, I mean, it depends. Uh, let me see what it what the action is. Can I, can I attack the war chief from where I am? If I'm Ryan here, the, I have to move forward somehow. Do I have to hit the Orox? DM, can uh, I hit the uh, war chief, or do I have, or I, am I obstructed by the Orox? Uh, well, the the Orox would be in the way if um. We're going off of the five foot, uh, you know, spacing that that we gave to Lucy there. Okay, so the thing with heroism is that if you if you use the action to do it, then you can't attack. Oh no! I'm just gonna go after the. I'm just gonna go after the Orok then. All right, let's see what I can do here. Uh, with my rapier, which doesn't seem like the kind of thing that would do much on a. Warrock, but okay. I got a hit and I got a miss, but I dropped. So... Uh, yeah, you were targeting that one goblin. That's fine. Oh, I'm sorry. I was like, huh? <laughs> okay, so uh, I hit him. Yes. And now you add the smite. Now I add the smite. Oh Where no, you needed to do it before the damage. If oh, I'm sorry. if you were gonna spend the. Uh, the point, um, the spell no. slot to do it. I'll wait the next time. That's fine. Okay, so I dealt some damage to the Orok, right? Correct. Okay. Don't you attack again? No. 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 Okay. Just making sure. Okay. Pesci. Okay. Pesci is uh, very impressed by Roland's impression of Lucy and says, uh, I may be able to make an actor out of you yet. And then um let's see who is going to be going up next. Orc 1. Orc 1, orc one and then the Orc War Chief. Okay. Uh Okay. So I guess the best part would be the Orc War Chief. Um, yeah, so Pesci then shouts out, um, targeting the Orc War Chief. Uh, Look out, we have another Lucy! Hey! As he does a vicious mockery on the Orc War Chief. 
Oh, yes, he's very afraid of that. <laughs> yeah, as your words cut into the orc war chief, he he is afraid that you have more archers ready to just eviscerate him and his uh goblins. And remaining orc. Uh okay. Yeah, I think that is my turn. Can't do anything else. Nope, can't do anything else. And uh, did you mark off the... Uh, you didn't mark off the animation usage from uh, Roland. So I'll mark it off. And I'll end my turn. Okay, let's see what this bastard does here. Everybody's coming after me. I, and I'm healing you. Well, uh, you gotta be careful because they come after you. It's going to come to you. And you only have three healing slots, three spell slots left. So, all right. Yeah. Uh, I am going to move here. Attack Zarash. I'm not gonna... Two. Ah. And yes. Oh. Well, you know, it's not good. But not then yet. And then the orc war chief is going to uh let's see jump down oh. off of his orc and attack Zarash. Of course. Well miss me, baby. He has disadvantage. Why? My, uh, my fighting words. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's already (laughs) got that, yeah. That's not gonna help. I'm dead. It's my first death today. Boom! Man! Man! He drops Zarash down to the ground. Again. You spent all of your effort on the first one. You couldn't miss the other two attacks. Yeah, that's all right. That's okay. Another waste their attack. Failure. Yeah, the goblin lies there bleeding out and dying as uh, Worm Slayer, uh, Bitey Slayer, sorry. Uh, Bitey Slayer uh, continues to hide by Pesci and Lucy and Roland due to not being able to see very well in the sunlight. Time to heal! Because I think you gotta protect yourself. You're gonna get killed the next round. And you have to let Ryan hold the bridge, I would honestly say. So if you can back away and throw a spell, I would back away and throw a spell. I can back away and I can throw a spell then back away. Can't I? Yes. But not not with disengage, the Auroch will get an attack of opportunity. I would just disengage and I would... Well, he already cast the cure wounds. Oh, already cast the cure wounds. Okay, fine. Get, 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 then deal with it. Get away and see what happens. Get One away. moment. Just let me... Uh... Even though Ryan is there to parry? What are you doing? I, I'm i still oh, in my... Oh, I see. You're, you're, I got you. I thought you were healing him twice. I was like, you know you can't heal twice. No, I'm in my starry form. Yes. yes. Which yes, is I probably, remember. which is probably the river serpent. Now that I think about it, like it's sort of like a get out of there. So as as you cast your healing spell upon Zarash, tiny motes of starlight fall upon him, raising him up. Although he is still exhausted from having been knocked down. You can feel the healing power of the motes of starlight flowing through your starry form as well. Mm. 
And, uh, I imagine that's the end of my turn. Well, your your Zarash, your ally, was urging you to get away from the battle, but if you don't wish to back up without disengaging, then yes, you can just end your turn. Move. But then the Aurochs will hit me. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I know it's it's a it's a decision to be made about taking the one attack or what you know. It, I get it. Hey. All right, the Orox attacks you. Yeah. You take severe damage from its horns as it gores into you as you're running away uh you look like a rodeo clown being lifted into the air for a second before <laughs> before landing and rolling and getting out of the bull's uh horn range Goracul then sort of sort of like bruised and beaten says to lucy I don't imagine you have any expertise with with animals. I'll try my best. Okay. Elvin, so... take that war chief down. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna use. I wish I did have charm animal. That would be awesome. Um, or befriend animal. What's the spell? Animal friendship. Animal. Yes, that one. That would have been funny. Oh, no. oh. Yes. Your yeah. ray of frost streaks across the sky as you try to nail the orc war chief, but he brings his great axe up and it just deflects right off of it into the ground, leaving an icy patch. Yes. Thank God we have Lucy. Nobody else can damage like Lucy can damage. Seeing <laughs> Gorakul running away, the goblin takes a shot at him and drops him to the ground. Oh. <laughs> the Oryx tries to gore Ryun. He's gonna miss. Ew! Ew! Oh my god. Ew! Oh no! That sucks. Uh oh. Like, Ryan is like gonna be completely. Yeah, this might be yeah. instant death. Oh. Wow. Are you sure you can't roll again? <laughs> You, oh. you, you know how it is. I, I try to always be fair, whether it's for or against anyone. Yeah. Well, I, you know, it started out so well. Shortest lived character ever. All right. So I do believe that in this case, I am okay with allowing for the two critical hits rather than three. Even though it says three, and even though it would be fair to just go ahead and, and do the three, I do believe that in this instance that I have met the requirements of neutrality by still rolling that second attack, knowing that he was already in the negative hit points and that that second attack could have killed him. He got lucky, he didn't die, he might still die anyway, but it won't be because I rolled a third critical hit. Lucy. I don't imagine uh, Pesci has some healing. I have some spell slots. 
I can assist a person. <laughs> which will be But Pesci, only one. <laughs> which will be Pesci and running away. <laughs> Possibly. I would appreciate if the DM did not expose my master plan of surviving the day. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> so what you want to do is you want to go after the working people. Right, you you've uh, so get rid of the target to the Oroks. Right. Oh, by the way, oh, while well, well, Lucy's taking her turn, do you guys see the uh, water kind of flowing there? Uh, yeah, I was going to comment on the uh, animation. I think it looks really good if you look yeah. at like the fish. Like it really does look like the fish is just kind of under the water mm -hmm. there. Right. No! Yeah. After after a twenty, a one must come. Yes. All right. You have to end your turn there, Tony. What turn? What turn? <laughs> you know. Are you sure you can't have Scout help a little bit? It doesn't look like we're getting through it. Oh, Scout is helping. He, uh, he, he, he's shooting guys that are gonna be here otherwise, you know. So. So, oh, I got another shot at this now. Yep. And then you, you have to stand up from prone unless you want to stay on the ground. Um. I, I would stand from prone. Well, the problem is it creates, a it creates an attack of opportunity. No, no it doesn't. That was no, a different no, no, scenario. No. The person was waiting for you to stand up. Okay, so I'm standing up. I'm going to go after the orc chief. We got orc number one. Let's see what I can do here. Oh. All right. Big numbers. Ah. Really? All right. Well, I'm back to being neat again. At least you're good at soaking up hits. Yeah, that's what I try to do. Come on, Roland, shoot something. I shall try. Mm -hmm. I will definitely shoot at something. That rolled with the club. Oh, did it? Yeah. Oh yeah, it did. Uh, uh, but it's the same attack, so. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. So Ryan succeeded his death saving throw. Um, Zarish is currently up. Yes. Gar Cool is dying, and Ryan is still dying, but he survived his first saving throw. Correct. So, um, okay, okay. Pesci, uh, Pesci says, Gar, cool, what are you doing on the ground there? So close to Lucy. Don't you know you could be in the way of her arrows? Quick, get up and move out of the way. As he casts, a uh, healing word on Gar, cool. Nice. No, I was max. So you you max heal him as Gorakul. You are now uh, still prone, but conscious. And I think healing word is a bonus action. Can I? I can't do any standard actions through casting at all. Like I can't use vicious mockery. Uh, you can use your cantrip. Uh, okay. It, it has been clarified um, by Crawford or whoever, I forget who, uh, that um, when you cast a spell, whether it's a bonus action or not, you cannot cast another spell, but that spells cost spell slots. Cantrips are not spells for the purposes of that. Oh, cool. That's very helpful, because um, I did not have a ranged weapon anymore. Okay. Um, let's see. 
I want to create a distraction to maybe try to get some people like their focus distracted, at least like more than one uh, person's dis per, uh, focus distracted. Drop trousers and start running across the field. <laughs> that would be a big distraction. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm just imagining Pesci like going like that, doing um, who's the guy that? Oh, like uh, Mo from uh the Three Stooges. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what? That does sound good and slapsticky, which is within Pesci's real wheelhouse. So, um, okay, let's make this a little bit more fun. Uh. What could be more fun than that? Are you going to have two cream pies ready to just, like, whip at somebody <laughs> while you're running? No, but I can use Prison Sensation to create a shower of sparks coming out of Pesci's butt as he's running across the field with sparks coming out. <laughs> oh, I can do that. <laughs> that is about as distracting as anyone could possibly get a... Uh, firework rocket powered gnome <laughs> running pantsless through a field is yes so all of a sudden you just see Pesci go yell uh oh stand up and start running across the field as sparks are flying out of his butt uh, so go ahead and roll a performance with advantage Funny, for, baby. for uh, you know Obvious yeah. reasons. Will acting save the rash? Yes. Oh! <laughs> All right. <laughs> um. So the only the only thing is, is that it works so well <laughs> that literally everyone has to make a a wisdom save in order. To continue fighting now, as they as they are watching this. So as we go through, I'm know, not. Well, when, when it's your turn, when it's your turn, and you and you want to and you want to continue fighting, uh, go ahead and roll. But uh, we'll just take it, you know, one at a time because I have a lot of NPCs too. So with the stipulation that the party knows that Pesci is a fool. Yeah. All right. His turn is over. <laughs> All right, so or Orc 1 is going to try and still attack. And no, Orc 1 stands there dumbfounded. <laughs> the Orc War Chief. Not a chance. Um, Bitey Slayer wasn't going to attack anyway, so. And Gorakul, you rolled a nat 1, so you are just watching Pesci streak across the <laughs> field with sparks flying out everywhere, and... What? And, and Gorakul is sort of, sort of, sort of like saying, what the fuck, and Draconic and says... Why in the world are you have your pants off and you are sparking now? This would be the first time he's ever pulled the pantsless uh, gnome firework routine. No, no. We, we know this guy. Yeah, we know he's a wild yeah. guy. Okay, fine. <laughs> Yeah, but the pantsless gnome firework is a pretty unique. Uh, this is pretty. This is pretty. This is pretty extreme for the straight laced scientist. Okay, but Elodie, Elodie passed. Do you want me so. to? Yeah. Do we use that or do I roll again? Uh, no, you're gonna be uh, using yours. Uh, however, uh, I want to be clear want... that what what you got was a uh, mid tier success. You needed to roll above a fifteen in order to still attack without. Disadvantage. disadvantage you can attack you can but attack. you have disadvantage oh, because you are very yeah, distracted that's 
Um, I'll see Brian. Go for it. Uh, do I need to do anything to have this advantage? Or... Yes. Just, at, yes. At, at the bottom at, is ADV and DIS by the chat. Uh, that's advantage and disadvantage. You just click on the DIS for disadvantage. Gotcha. What in the... Goraku is just sort of yelling at Pesci right now. Just... Hit it anyway. Good job. Go, Elodie. Your ray of frost strikes the orc, dropping it to the ground. Dropping it to the ground as it clutches at its at its freezing uh, chest. Chest. It, it starts to feel the the icy crystals creep into its uh, blood and heart, but it's too late. It's too late. And the last thing it saw was a gnome running through the field with its pants down. Oh, that's an interesting way to go. <laughs> Okay, I thought, well, I missed anyway. That's fine. Oh, yeah, I forgot to roll. Uh, thank you. Um, yeah, I am completely distracted and was not firing arrows at Gorokul. Can you use that one for the Aurochs? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you have much to worry about with the Aurochs, but... Oh, he can attack. He's uh, straight. All right, I am right. going to attack uh, Zarash. Of course. See, you could use the one. <laughs> it's not a disadvantage, though. Yeah, well. That that can be a big difference, but he does have a plus seven to attack, so. Oh, oh hey, there you go. Oh, hey. Woo! Brian, I live to fight another day, at least for a few moments. Lucy, All right. Um... Wisdom. First wisdom save. Yep, until it's uh, Pesci's turn again, so everybody has to make one. So, okay, well, oh, show, you have to do a wisdom save. Go, uh, go to me. And see wisdom? Uh -huh. Right there. The plus two. Uh -huh. Roll it? You, yes. Hey, there you go. You're not even distracted. Lucy has a singular focus. I'm doing the whole Zen home kind of thing because I'm a cat warrior. I have had to learn to live with distraction. That's right. You, you laser focus in on your target and don't let anything get in between you and it. It's like mousing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Shoot again, but don't use the um, hail of thorns because you gotta. No, no, yeah. I don't think I even have it set up. Okay, sorry. Back to my skills. My yeah, no, the, the water works really well, DM. I like that. It's a very shimmery, very shimmery. Oh but yeah. There, there's a whole bunch of effects that are we'll be using oh, as we. Yeah. All right, good try. It's all right. We get them. We get them eventually. It was not meant to be. Scout who you know, completely undamaged, just sitting in a corner, not doing anything. I'm brewing the coffee. Sure, that's good. All right, you want to end your turn, Lucy? And then, yeah, you know, depending on what map we're on, we'll use all kinds of effects in order to really, uh, you know, get that animation going so that the immersion is as good as it can be for a two-dimensional top view map. Um, am I still exhausted because I, I use second wind, so should I... Yes. Uh, your exhaustion is because you have been dropped twice in this battle. Uh, you have to roll a wisdom check. I have to roll a wisdom check anyway. Wisdom is not my, uh, my... I'm not really a wise kind of guy here, but we'll see what happens. Oh, a wise guy, oh. eh? So you are distracted, but can attack. Hold on, that was actually, I accidentally rolled for Ryan. Oops. Yep. Yep. Oh, look out for Ryan. Yeah. Well, he's still dead. Yeah, he's still it dead. will count for Ryan, but yeah, he's, 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh! oh! I, I I will save me. If I roll high enough on this, I'm getting out of here. No, I'm just... All right, I'm I'm distracted by whatever just happened with Pesci, but I I'm gonna try and do something, I guess. I'm not throwing my shot. Yes, that it could be a nerd. That's a right way. Shot. Oh, no, I forgot to roll with disadvantage. No. Oh, there it is. Come on. I know. This hurts. This hurts. Oh, what the heck? It it uh skipped Ryan. Oh, no, it didn't. There we go. All right. <laughs> so, Pesci, you're, right. you're amazing. You're amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, I would I would try to get. I don't know. Who do you want to get try to get back? Pesci, what do you think? What do I need to do? What do you want me to move back? Well, I mean, no, in the sense of I think I think if you want to try to heal somebody. I'm in range uh, of all of you. Yeah, I think you probably Ryan. try to get Ryan up again. Yep. This is my last heal, by the way. Okay. My last Aurora, spell slot. Yeah, got one at some point, maybe. So, uh, bonus action. What? It says you're prone. Let me get you off of prone. There we go. Mm -hmm. And now... Okay. Uh, go ahead. All right. Healing word. Ryan. Not as effective as I would like, but he has hit points now. He should lay on hands himself. Um, okay. Now let's see. What else can Pesci do at this point? Um... Okay. Pesci, I think Pesci's going to move up here. And then... Um, he's going to fall down. Actually, is he going to fall down? Yeah, sure. He'll fall down because he's still doing slapstick. But um, he's going to make a sound of, like, fireworks or something going off right where the goblin boss is and dying. Okay. Because now he's in range behind them. So he's going to make a very loud, like, firework sound coming off from behind to try to, again, further distract them as, like, they're distracted by me. And now all of a sudden they hear this really loud, like booming noise from behind them? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Although I, um, I will point out that uh, I think there is a limit to how loud prestidigitation can, like... It's not prestidigitation, it's minor illusion. Ah, okay. I was going to say, I, uh, I have no problem with prestidigitation making noise, but I think there is kind of a limit as to how loud it can be. It's a minor sound for prestidigitation. Yeah. And plus, it's only 10 feet range from me, so it's bas it's very minor. Gotcha. Um, mostly used for, like, little meaningless tricks, like having a firework shoot out of a uh, Pesci's butt. <laughs> um, but yeah, he'll do a minor illusion behind them of... Um, loud noises uh firework noises similar to like the noise that well i guess he wasn't really making noises he was just kind of like yelping and shouting and moving around so i guess only he kind of knows what a firework sounds like but they might not so i'm gonna make that noise gotcha 
And that will be his turn. Aw, oh, lame. Yeah, considering that that means that they're back up. Yeah. And I am going to move here and flank Zarash with the Oryx. Is he distracted? DM? He is not. Hmm. You know, that just gets better all the time. Of course. Sloosh. The Orc no. War Chief drops Zarash once again. Again. I predicted two deaths today, and so far I have died twice. I, I will not die every time. I move up using aggressive to move uh, all the way up to Pesci. And then that does technically provoke an attack of opportunity from Ryan. Do it! 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 Can I do anything more than just attack? Like, I can't use... No, you can only... Just ask attack. Just attack? Okay. So I get to... Untarget that, target that, uh, rapier. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's do it. Okay. Oh, can I use a, uh, what, what was the thing, Gabriel? Smite! Uh, um, no, it's an attack of opportunity. I can't use a smite. Okay, well, eight damage. Continuing to... And then to I attack Pesci. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Really? Pesci, you are dying. You are dying. Wow. Well, it's not Okay, we're going to get this back, though. Seeing Pesci <clears throat> go down, uh, Bitey Slayer leaps over the fence. Bitey, Bitey Slayer! Slayer. <laughs> Bitey Slayer! He's like, no, Pesci! Wow, Bloody Slayer! Wow, Bloody Slayer! Critical hit! This is unex. These are the unexpected moments. Bloody Slayer comes up and drives his dagger into the Orc War Chief's knee, dropping him uh, to the ground and hobbling him for life. He will never walk the same again. <laughs> Imagine an orc, an orc being kneecapped. By a gold. Well, he used to be an orcish war chief, but then he took an arrow to the knee. Huh. Not an arrow, a kobold to the knee. A dagger to the knee. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do an army crawl. Well, somebody? Yes, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to healing work. Zer, for you, Zerash. Well, but the problem is, um, I think that you want to try to... No, it's... He's... He's... Okay. All right. Good job. You play it. Okay. By who? Oh, you, you, you didn't heal me. You healed yourself. I oh. Uh, 
no, he. Oh yeah, you did heal yourself because uh, you had yourself targeted as well. I'll just take four hit points away from you. It's fine. All right. But I am going to heal myself after using healing word. Yes. Wait. Did you say it to me again? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, now, now you get the. Okay. There you go. Yeah. And there after that. Yeah, because your orc chief, I mean... But this one's closer to me, and I could die. I'm a one-hit KO. Yeah, but you just, you just cobalt, you have Dora Cole, because you can get rid of the orc, it's just one last thing. Well, okay, fine. Okay, go for it. You do what you can do. I'm going to uh, use my... Use my... Magic stones. Yes. Uh, uh, hold on. They will really appreciate that. Oh yeah, healing word is a bonus action, and then magic stone is a st uh, cantrip. So you're good. Sort of like putting some distance between me and the orc war chief. I'm going to to magic stones this guy. Whoa. What? You launch your stone at the orc war chief, but you miss. He's on the mm -hmm. ground, so he has advantage. Well, you have disadvantage. Same thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Your ice knife flies at the orc war chief, but misses. You could, have, you could have been a bit more physical. That's, yeah, a, that's okay. Seconds. My character is the lowest constitution. Yeah, and 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 everybody's got to be free to make their own decisions with their characters. And also, DM, reminder to uh, roll the wisdom for for this goblin because there was a distraction. Um, thank you. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm just rereading Ice Knife. Hit or miss, the shard explodes, and each creature within five feet must succeed on a dexterity saving throw or take 2d6 cold damage. And so, uh... Oh! I meant to cast Ray of Frost! Oh my gosh! Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes more sense. Sorry? That makes more sense. I just wanted to make sure that you knew that it was still going to blow up. Uh, so instead of instead of uh, using the uh, spell yeah. slot for Ice Knife, just uh, cast Ray of Frost, and then you you just missed. So it's fine. Well, hold on. Yeah. Damn, damn. He can't, she cast with disadvantage. She forgot to turn off the disadvantage. It's still disadvantage. Why? Because, because he's on... Uh, it's, a range, it's a ranged attack. Oh, okay. Well, it's not really a ranged attack, but it's. Yeah, but so so you don't use your spell slot, and more importantly, ice knife does not damage Pesci and Bitey. Yeah, that's why I was like, I definitely meant to use. It's uh, Ray of Frost, not Ice Knife. <laughs> Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Ew. Nope. Just a distraction. They've already been distracted once. It's consecutively harder to uh, keep distracting somebody in battle when you're trying to kill them. Like, things may be going on, but whoever's trying to kill you kind of takes precedent. Gorokul is hit with the goblin's arrow as he then nimble escapes to hide behind this tree. Don't! Now the wisdom saved for the arrow. 
Oh, he's not very stealthy. You guys can kind of see him. Mm -hmm. Okay. Miss. We need a miss. Well, he, he might fail his wisdom. Which he did. So mm -hmm. he cannot even attack. Oh, he wow. he is he is distracted as the uh, exploding firecracker sound behind him causes him to turn around and look. Like he is just like a horse reacting to a loud noise. Yeah, very much like that. Yes. Just just go right after the orc horses again. No, it's you. Your turn. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So. Uh. Well. You have to you have to roll your uh, wisdom save too. Wisdom save. I forget Rory's wisdom. Can you go to your lane and then you go to the right side yep. and you hit towards us. Wisdom is you. Yep. So the exploding firecracker causes you to look away and, and not be able to target anyone with your attack this turn. Okay. Move to the next, you gotta... Your turn. Mm -hmm. What turn? Happens. And then okay. Zarash, you need to uh, roll as well. This is I forgot to have Elodie roll, but they missed. I'm so. right. <laughs> okay, I'm good? Yes. Zarash, with a singular focus, continues to attack the marauding orcs. Right, I'm going to get the orc that's in front of me. I might as well see if I can get rid of him. Of her? Her, I already got rid of her once. No. Oh, you did? I didn't. God damn it. Okay. Well, that is what it is. Can you turn it? The goblin boss dies. As he draws his break. last oh. breath. Oh, Roland, I have to roll your wisdom. Oh, no, Roland. Boo. I'll be in hit. What are you in hit? I know. <laughs> I know. This is, this is asinine. Ryan, um, so now I could use her, I could use, can I use a, uh, can I use Cure Wounds and Attack, or do I have to choose? Uh, you can choose between those two, because Cure Wounds is an action. Can I move and use Cure Wounds? Yes, but you have to stand up from prone, which uh, takes half of your movement. Does he have, um, Lay on Hands? He does have lay on hands as a paladin. Let me see what he has left in the tank. Uh, he has a full full 15. So. Alright, so what do you think? I don't think you should be moving. Like You guys are still defending the bridge. We, just, we want to make sure people don't get over the bridge. Right, but I'm trying to... Okay, so really what you're saying is I, I can lay on hands and stand up or I can attack. Well, I promise... I'm gonna get killed. I think you're gonna get killed either way. Okay. So would I rather absorb? All right. So let's let's just go ahead and. I mean, if you think you wanna heal Zarash. No. You no. Know, at this point, I think Ryan's just gonna attack them. We're gonna go right after the Orange. Let's see what happens. Right. Um. So you stand up from prone. Yeah. The battle warrior. And then I'm, I'm oh, using no. Divine Smite. What am I using, right? I can use Divine Smite. Yeah, you but, should go for as broke as you can go at this point. If you're not healing yourself, just just use everything. <laughs> use your inspiration right? if you have any. <laughs> you have inspiration? I don't know if you do or don't. Uh, uh, no, not... no, you do not. Uh, well, wait, let me see. Uh, yes, you do have one point of inspiration. Yeah, if if your goal is to take down this Orox, then I would say go for broke. I would you just um, the inspiration then? What does that do for me here? It, it allows you to attack at advantage. Okay. So I'm hitting advantage. 
And I have to save, um, right? Okay. I don't know, Gabriel, what else he has. Why did you roll wisdom? Because of the, uh, the distraction. <laughs> and, and so uh, you you have disadvantage on this attack. But he was going to use his inspiration for the attack. Oh, I'm sorry, not, dis not disadvantage on this attack. Uh, you can attack normally. Okay. And if he used his point of inspiration and did have a disadvantage, all it would do is uh, offset to where it was normal. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so so right now I'm using my point of inspiration, I'm attacking normally, but I'm going to use the divine smite after if I hit him. Right. So there. Correct. Go. Okay. Okay. Divine awesome. smite. So do I hit divine smite first, or do I hit? Yes. The... Use your highest level spell slot that you can use. I think that's... That's first. That's yeah. first. Yeah. Okay, oh, is there a Thunderous Smite? Have you used Thunderous Smite? Uh, no, that's a, that's a spell that you cast beforehand on your weapon in order to use it. Uh, smite and the named Smites are two different things. You can do a Smite with any attack that that you hit with and it will deal extra damage if you spend a spell slot your named smites such as flaming smite or thunderous smite or whatever uh those are spells that you cast that do also do extra damage but have like effects as well like pushback or you know extra damage ongoing or something like that i'm allowed to also do legendary strike at the same time uh, hold on. Let me see what that is. It, that's already factored in to where it it has a enhanced critical role, but it's it's you didn't crit, so. Okay. All right. There it is. I dealt heavy damage to the Arok, it appears. Yes. And as your rapier glows with your divine smite, it stabs into the giant bull who uh, lets out a bellow of pain. Mm. Uh-oh. For the record, Pesci, that is not what you wanted. You think? I just wanted to make sure that he knew. I'm aware. I'm could I? I could have used the point of inspiration to do that roll, couldn't I? I'm not sure why I did it automatically for me. Uh, no, you cannot use inspiration unless you are conscious to use inspiration. Okay. Gotcha. And I am going to flank and attack Zarash. Yeah. Hey, what? I am going to stand up and then fall back down because your knee. <laughs> My knee does hurt. That is that is true. I should probably just kill you for that, but you're dying anyway, so I'll well, kill... Well, Pesci didn't say anything because he's dying. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'll, I'll probably just kill your little friend anyway, so... Oh, no, not Toto. I mean, Fighty Slayer. You can miss. What? Fighty Slayer will save us all. Don't bet on it. What? You know, I... I think I can make it up to Elodie and Scout. Because uh -oh. aggressive, uh -oh. I can move up to my speed towards a hostile creature what? I can see. Why would you attack me? It's right. It's not the guy creature. who just took me. Does it draw a pack of opportunity from the kobold? From a bitey slayer? Uh, yes. And then I can move here with my regular movement, which I still have 15 feet of after standing up from prone. No, I have 
exactly five feet of. I can exactly make it to you. All right, so uh, Bitey Slayer attacks me, and then t while I'm doing that to answer your question, uh, because you're casting spells and pose more of a threat than the little kobold who, although, yes, he got a very impressive hit in on me, and I am not happy about what is going on. No way. I was going to say the chances of him doing it again. I know. This is insane. The chances of him doing it again are so low. But there he goes, just tearing me up. But you see, five damage. Like, that's that's nothing. I would help again, even in a jam. So, the orc war chief is smart enough to have deduced who the threats are. And that's you. I've literally missed almost every single shot. That's true. But you did freeze to death uh, the... Uh, Okay. But now the war chief's out of gas at this point, right? Yeah, he can't move any further, but he can attack. Oh. He can't move any further. How can he attack? Uh, it's just the separation of actions. <laughs> yeah. And then, I you, and then I use battle cry, so everybody gets advantage on their next attack. Okay. That's good. I like that. So I missed! He missed! 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 missed. And then the second <laughs> attack comes down, dro oh! dropping the elf, her fine blue dress covered in her elven blood. No! Go! Go! That's gonna really piss off Buddy Slayer. It is. There's another 20 coming from Buddy Slayer. Here it comes. He, he, he runs right in and attacks him again. He's just critting again and again, so here we go. And this one will be advantage because of pack tactics. Yep. That is very true. All right, not a crit, but I just keep stabbing the Orc War Chief again and again. Yelling in kobold. Anyone who can speak the kobold language can hear me screaming, Stay off of my friends! Oh. Gorakul's just sort of like. Oh, Gorakul, do you have another heal? Yes, he does. He's going, he's going to stand up from prone. Yes. Sort of stumbling next to Pesci, and then uses, uses healing words on Pesci. Well, you don't have to use healing word if, if you are there. And then remember, this will be your last spell slot. Yeah, but I want to actually make an effort on stopping the Orc War Chief. I, oh, oh, healing word's a bonus action. Oh, I see what you mean. I, yeah. Hey. It's your character. I apologize for stepping in. Going to use and starting form replenishes my my body. And Gora Cool saying to the Orc War Chief, "On billions and trillions of stars and trillions of you are certainly a despicable, despicable chief." And he's. Picks up his, and he uses his, his star map to cast guiding bolts. And it, is it an advantage? Uh, you, you, you can't cast guiding bolt because, oh, do you mean, wait, I'm looking. Using, at the, it's oh, the star map. yeah, your star oh, map. Wow. I got you. I'm sorry. Uh, so okay. you, you use your star map to cast Guiding Bolt, and then what was the question? The advantage. Because... Of the war cry. No, not the war cry, the, uh, because Scout is sort of diagonal. Oh, I see what you're saying. Uh, no, you, you would not have advantage on that with the ranged attack, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, so Gorakul... So holding up his, his star map with all the constellations so far recorded on it, 
and says, Be smited by starlight! And as you say that, the glowing form of the giant spider and um, the two-headed ogre light up as the stars streak out from this glowing star map. But unfortunately, they miss the orc war chief. Yeah, but still spectacular. Yes, it yeah. looks amazing. Oh. Yeah, I'll do that. I uh, come out from hiding, even though I wasn't hidden, so I don't have advantage. And I shoot at Gorakul. What is your deal? Ooh, that was so close to a 20. I imagine he was sort of going to shoot, but got distracted by Gorakul sort of using his star map. Yeah, as your light lights up all around you and everything, it caused his arrow to go off course. And then he uh, tries to stealth again. No, 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 19. All right, that's a lot better. So now we get this Aurux thing here. The Aurux attacks... Uh, both of you are up? Uh, oh, Zarash is down? No, Zarash is up. Both of us are up. Okay, uh, with both of you up, I am going to just attack Zarash. Of course you're going to. I'm going to die a third time today. Not today. I guess I'm wrong. <laughs> the, the Oryx gores into you, dropping you to the ground. Yet again. For the third time. Tell me. All right, Lucy, you're up. Come on, let's see if we can take down this war chief. Another roll. Hey. Or, or are you going to attack the art? No, no, no. no. Okay, uh, now, because you're attacking past your allies, you do, uh, uh, the orc has cover, so it is minus five to attack. You can move. You can move, correct. Okay, so she moves um, one, two, three, four, like six uh, blocks over to her left, which she have a clear shot. Most certainly. And that would be, you, it's not too much movement to still have an attack? Uh, no, it's not too much movement to still have an attack. Okay, so you got that, Connie? Move six. How many feet? Six. One more. Right there. Right, right there. Okay. Right. Now you're shooting. Right, now wait a second. Wasn't there a moment where like we got, everybody got advantage on like... A... No, only the enemy. All right, take a crack at it, Tanya. Let's, let's, get, let's get another 20. Oh, uh, finally. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Beginning and Knockout blow, baby. Hold on. Roll, baby. Roll, baby. Roll, baby. Roll, baby. What do we got? Nice. Uh, you just you just roll you just roll your standard longbow damage. There wasn't anything else added to that, so just roll your longbow damage. And then, as your arrow strikes the orc war chief right in the in the side of the head, it knocks him unconscious, and he lies lying on the ground, bleeding from the wound in his head, dying. Didn't we always tell him that his greatest, the greatest threat this whole entire time was Lucy? Didn't we say this? I believe so. Yeah, I well, that's his fault. <laughs> okay, you can end your turn. Nice shot. Okay. That's what we needed. I always forget. Lucy has knocked out the, uh, the chief. Lucy, you find yourself standing right on top of Pesci's trousers that... Uh, we're left, we're, we're left in the field. Oh boy! Funny because Pesci This has been a day. Pesci, <laughs> Pesci, your pants are ready. <laughs> Come on, Roland. Just shoot the orc. Shoot the orc number one, Roland. Shoot the orc. Out there, shoot something. 
hit it though. Oh. <laughs> he can't attack with a club. It's the same attack as the uh, longbow. Oh, use use uh, use uh, use your your lay on hands on on Zerash. No, I want to attack the Orog. I want to get rid of it. That's the yeah, problem right now. Um, so I use uh, there is thunderous smite. If he does have thunderous smite, now's the time to cast it because it's a bonus action. So you have to do it before you attack. Okay, so I can do that, right, DM? Uh, yes, you have one spell slot left. Okay, so I'm going to use, and that's a little, like, you hit the little guy as opposed to the, I hit the little guy, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I have Thunder of Smite. I'm now on Thunder of Smite. Now I attack, and I can attack yes. with Thunder Smite as well. I have four of those. You, wait, what? Wait. So wait a second. So... So I'm using just Thunderous Smite this time, right? Right. right. Yeah. Thunderous Smite gives you a, a buff, basically. And then when you attack, it the buff triggers. Okay. So here we go. No! No, no, no! Ah! The Aurox tough hide reflects the rapier, deflecting it off of off of him and kind of like bouncing back into Ryan, but his his armor protects him. He's not hurt or anything. Do I? Um, I'm dead. Oh, he's dead. Um, do I get a, do I a second yeah. action now? Uh, no. I thought with thunderous smite, I had like it's like doesn't. No, 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 it's so uh, thunderous smite is a bonus action. It gives you a buff. The next, the first time you hit with a melee weapon attack during the spell's duration. You apply the effects of Thunder Smite. So you missed. So you didn't hit. So you still have it. But right. um, it didn't, tri it didn't like, trigger. Yeah, it's like it's like Lucy's uh, sort of uh, thing. Hail of Thorns. Okay. Correct. Yeah. Um, okay. Just lay on the ground. I'll come finish you off soon. Thank you. Who says this? <laughs> the oh yeah, I'm dying. Never mind. I, I, <laughs> I, can, I can still trash talk while I'm dying. <laughs> I mean, Pesci could be hearing the thoughts in his head. Um, I didn't trash talk this whole time. I, let me get one in. Let's see. Um, I could... I could Vicious Mockery the Orc. Um, I don't think my Vicious Mockery will affect the Orcs, unfortunately. Can you have a um, melee? You don't, have, you don't have a... Um, you gave the... Thing I gave my bow up. Yeah. So I, I can't help there, unfortunately. Um, okay, so Pesci is going to be... Uh, yeah, so, yeah. okay. He is targeting the Orc. Oh. And uh, I, I, I will be um, upfront with you about how I've come to a decision about this. I have decided for the purposes of vicious mockery that in order to not completely nerf bards, the only creatures that it will not work against are ones that just like language means nothing at all to them. I'm talking like mindless undead constructs lizards you know things like that but most mammals are going to be able to be affected by it so okay it does see it does say in there it need not understand you but it needs to like kind of have a, i guess it must be able to feel emotion yeah, that's basically what i'm going off of exactly like if I, if the creature is not one that is going to be affected by you know you being angry you know if it's going to have no visceral reaction to your anger then it's probably not going to react to your vicious mockery either um hmm all right so maybe i should target the orcs then um all right i'm gonna target the orcs and then say uh ha -ha, uh lucy killed your 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 owner oh that's funny uh, you don't have an owner anymore. Where is Vicious Mockery? There it is. Oh, yeah. It doesn't affect him. 
Yes, but not because he was immune to it. Only because he's got an iron will and your pitiful, petty words attempting to hurt him. He's just, he's above that. Yeah. And Pesci crawls away. <laughs> Ten feet. Half speed. <laughs> Okay. I don't know why he's there. He should be up there. Yeah, cool. Yeah. All, right. All right. Sorry. Pesci's out of tricks in his bag, guys. <laughs> uh, let's see. You're down. So, Ryan. Ryan's still up. Ryan's still You're going to have to go through the water. Ryan, get an attack about uh, you can go over his body. Yeah. I just step right over Zarash. He's not He's not an active participant right now, so he can't block his movement, right? Correct. Ryan, is Ryan yeah. an attack about no. No. No, because I didn't leave his space. I'm really dead now. I knock Ryan to the ground. The other goblin dies. The orc war chief seems to like be stabilizing. Okay, Bitey Slayer, oh. go get that orc number one. Uh, no, Bitey Slayer is going to slit this guy's throat. The rate he's going. Yeah, you you, yeah. you guessed it. <laughs> I'm going to be on medical duty. So I just perform a coup de grace. Automatic critical hit. Boom. No no death saving throws for you. Uh, so I go to kill him. But unfortunately, uh, he's still alive. But like he, he's closer to being dead than before. Yeah, well, you keep knocking at him, buddy Slayer. For a cool being the medical expert in this in this group, he's going to use an inspiration point and do a medicine check on Elodie to stabilize her. You panicked me for half a second because you moved up to the orc war chief as you were saying that. I was like, oh, oh please don't save the orc war chief. No, we've been nice sometimes during this campaign, but not now. Oh, yeah. I'm, let yeah. me roll that again. Uh, you you did manage to to stabilize her. Ah, good. So, so I didn't have to yeah. use it. Uh, but but well, you still used your point of inspiration. But I'm just letting you know that although you can oh, roll it can. again, trying to get that twenty, you you did stabilize her. So you know. Yeah. It's... So. So uh, put the stabilized on LED. Of course, I have to. Otherwise, it's going to keep doing the thing. And Karakul, using some knowledge of his medicine, stabilizes Elodie. That you do. And so her wounds are deep, but you manage to stop most of the blood from pouring out. And she is breathing, but unconscious. Gorakul lets out a sigh of relief. Oh, good. Misses again. Okay, now we got the orcs. That's going to become a problem. Now the question is, where's that thing going to go? Uh, the only place it can, right in the uh, Ryun. Ryun's already dead. Oh, wait. He's, he's already dead? He's already down. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, oh. Down. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, not, not that I should keep beating up on him, but, uh, you know, we give him a chance to recover. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I'll uh, undo that one real quick. Mm -hmm. um, my bad. All right, so I will um, charge over the bridge into There's an orc in the way. 
It's an it's an it's an ally. I can move to an allied square. Allied square. How many squares can you move? Fifty feet. Oh wow! And how many? Don't have to roll him. We're rolling. We're rolling. He's been such. He's been such an important. He actually shot a couple of really good shots today. Oh! Wow, he missed. He missed, and so uh, with that, he does not get his charge which was all that extra damage. And Roland quickly leaps over the wall as the Orox comes charging through. Very cool. All right, you're back up, Lucy. Now you gotta target the uh, Orox here. Okay. Uh, well, how about some animal handling? <laughs> well done. I, I think she can properly handle animals with some arrows. This is hunting at this point. I do have animal, animal, animal handling skill with him. Do you want to use them? Can you use them? How does that help? He's injured. Like, it helps, like, tame him. Like, sort of, like, he's already... Tamed that's, though he was specifically tamed by the orc leader. Yeah, I was gonna say that's a a really hopeful like interpretation of what can possibly happen with animal handling. You rolling a natural twenty does not just make an animal your friend, or at least calms uh, it down. At that, it will do. Not that many arrows. Twenty, you had twenty to start with. All right, it you... says I have twenty. Do you have any out of ammo? I am looking. It is out of ammo, yes. Okay. So then how I have about... a bunch of arrows right on me. If you come over to me, you can take them from me. <laughs> mom, mom, how about you uh, flank the arrow since Roland is on the other side? Yeah, you... That that would put her into melee range. Uh, as Pesci yeah. was saying, he has arrows. Yes, yeah. but she... Gabriel. Do okay, I walk over to... How do I do that? Yeah, move to Pesci. Move over to the square next to Pesci. Okay. Yeah, Pesci, you're going to be walking over to Pesci. Okay. Pesci is, like, literally... Yep. Like, moving around with a ton of arrows on his back. <laughs> so now you're going to hand them to Lucy, and Lucy's going to shoot. Is that all possible? Uh, she can take yes. as many arrows as she wants for me. Well, kind of. You can you can hand her like five. So uh, I'm gonna count off five arrows. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. Only because you know you have to get them out and hand them to her, and you know all of that. Oh, uh, also. Um, you can grab the uh, the arrows uh, from Pesci. Um, he's allowing you to do that, but normally, if somebody is handing you something, you would have to wait till their turn. I just want to point that okay. out in case there's like a future incident where you guys try to do something like this. Okay, makes sense. All right, so you're uh, you hit, so uh, you're all damage. Mm. Yeah. Another nice. arrow sticks out of the bull's hide. Right. Yeah, I should do something helpless, but no. He's just too busy doing other things. He's taking out all the other goblins who would be charging in. I'm not resentful at all. Then you get in your turn. Oh, nice. Okay, well, there's that. Roland, come on. You can now club him. <laughs> I disengage and move back. Oh, Roland. You've been so good. 
Yes, well. All right. Well, Ryan survives another round. Ashy, you're up. Um, do you have a bow? Do you have anything with like a? I don't have. Roland has my bow. That's right. That's right. I do have my cutting wit, or rather, my vicious mockery. Um. But there's this orc down here that's been bothering me. That's like, I don't want to worry about the orcs. I want to worry about this orc. Um, okay. I'm going to target the orc. And say, uh, Lucy will come for you next, just like she took out your chief and your boss. Darn. Your words mean nothing. All right. And then Pesci moves back a little further. So he does. So he does and get slaughtered. Yeah, pretty much. Well, um, remember, you can't spell slaughter without laughter. That's true. Make him laugh and make him laugh. All right, I am going to move up to Lucy. And attack. Mom! Mom! Don't go saying things. Fighting Slayer still has a chance. Missed you. It missed you! Oh, you're kidding me! Yeah, that's not yeah. optimal. That's bullshit! It's the Cobo. Oh. Now I have to attack him. I don't even get an automatic hit. That's, that's the second time Cobalt's got to just, just... Come on. Come on, Fighting Slayer. And it will yeah. be an advantage. Yeah, I'm putting the prone on him, so. Oh, he's like, just freaking. He just stabs into him again and again. The orc war chief drops back to dying. Thank God for Buggy Slayer. Wow, Buggy Slayer. cool seeing the, uh, the orc decides that this is a big. This is troubling, and so is us. Uh, right. That's. And going to use my magic stones. Stoner. Stoner. Sorry to her. Stoner. Kill everyone. That's a catch uh, twenty two right there. Oh my god. I did mean not mean to roll twice. It's the same either way. Doesn't matter. Uh, this guy gets to shoot again. Hopefully he misses again. Come on, miss. Alright, so I jump out of hiding. Hitting Gorakul with my arrow. And Gorakul just like, stop it! Stop! And then I try to hide again. Okay. The Aurox charges Lucy. Who's running after Roland? What's that all about? There's a wall in the way. That's why Roland jumped over the wall. Yeah, miss. Come on. I need you to miss. How's he going to miss? Trust me. Happens all the time. No, 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 no. 19. Yeah, I know. Ooh. Ouch. Ooh. 
Lucy is still up, heavily damaged, cannot take reactions, but is knocked to the ground prone by the mighty Oryx charge. Just stand up from prone and use Cat's Claws. Yep. We can get rid of the Oryx. This battle is ours. Yes, I know. At this point. Oh. But we need to get rid of this Oryx. It's like killing us. All right, so you got the, uh, you got that, Tanya? You got that, uh, Lucy? Yes. Cool. I'm doing my best. I'm trying to hold on to my stream. All right, so you have to tell DM what you're doing. Cat's claws? Well, you have to stand up from prone first. Um, is that what I have to do, DM? Stand up from prone? Well, well you, you're going to you want to. Don't. Okay, so do I need to do anything to do that? You just declare it? that you stand up from prone. Yeah. I stand up from prone? I don't think I can use cat claws, though. You can! Because, yeah? yeah? All right. Yeah, so yeah. you just you use your melee attack against the Oryx, slashing yeah, at him with your claws. You hit. Oh, okay. Now you gotta... Damage. The Oryx drops to the ground as you grab its uh, neck and tear at it. It, it, is, it is bleeding badly and is no longer able to fight. Hey. How many failures is that? I think it's only one. Good. Get your ass in here and shoot the freaking orc. Uh, but we got one orc left to kill, and we got a goblin to go chase down. But let's let's. Go As she's using the point of inspiration, stepping in quietly, standing and then stepping in quietly behind an orc, brandishing his dagger, and then uh, whispers into its ear, "Have you ever been stabbed in the back by a pantsless gnome before?" <laughs> Timesless gnome. That, that, That's gonna be. That, that does sound a that little dirty. Oh! It didn't roll with the damage. You, 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 you didn't target it. It does hit. Oh. It's advantage and disadvantage. So. Well, I said I stood up from prone. Oh, I'm sorry. You did. Uh, you did. I, I did it too fast. To, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. sorry. You stood up from prone up so from fast prone. you were still dizzy. Yeah. Okay, so he hit? Yes. Yeah, I just was w hoping to get the 20. Alright, yeah. What did he hit? That wasn't the, the, orc. Is the orc drops to the ground. Well done, Pesci. Alright. As he takes a bow and says, I'm here all week. <laughs> oh good finally dead and, and, dead. With, and with that bitey slayer raises his dagger and stabs into the orc who dies as his dagger pierces his neck and he gurgles on his blood just breathing his last Foul smelling orc breath. Hey, Corporal, you gotta come stabilize me because um, Ryan has not lost any. Uh... Has Ryan lost any? No, Ryan has seeded every time so far on the. Uh... Yeah, we need to stabilize the both of them. Yeah, but stabilize me for. Yeah. Zarash first. Zar for a cool, running up to Zarash is going to. Uh, you can't run stabilize. across the river. Yeah, there's yeah. the river there. You have to go over the bridge. All right, so you can get there, but now you can't take an action. Can you do the action from 30 feet away? No! Oh, 
and six is going to either attack or run away. Hopefully he runs away. Uh, Goblin uh, six jumps out thinking he was hidden and shoots Gorakul. What do you have against me? Uh, well, you did just slaughter everyone. <laughs> but you could attack anyone else. But you chose to attack me. Oh, you're right in front of me. You're stable. You're fine. You're gonna shoot the. Uh, you're gonna shoot a goblin six. No, uh, okay. So now you're gonna target goblin six. Untarget the arrow and target goblin six. It's hidden, though. Yeah, I know. Do you have any inspiration? Uh, do I have any inspiration? It would be a star on your on your thing. Also, Pesci, did you use up your last point of inspiration? I have one inspiration left. Okay, I just wanted to make sure you were tracking that. Uh, yeah. Lucy does not have a point of inspiration right now. Can you can you target the? No, we don't. Oh, you don't see. I don't him. even know where he is. Yeah, because he's hidden. Um, you can ready an action to attack when he moves his head into view. That is an option. I do that. Declare it. Declare it, and then there should be a button at the end of the actions, I think, for ready. Uh, just to make this clear, what you can do is roll for perception to see if you can see him. You can ready an action in order to attack him once you can see him, but he will still get his attack first. Okay, so roll for perception? Yes. Uh, one second. I've got the right one. All right. You exactly met his stealth and can see him. He is right okay. here. He's right where? Oh, okay. Can she shoot now? Let's see. So can I target him now, DM? Y yes. Yes. Go. Yes. So, okay. Now, do you still have a hell of orange? Um... I don't. Do I have spell slots? I don't. You have one spell slot left. There you go. Don't use it. Don't, don't use, use it. it. There's nothing else on the board. We gotta kill the damn thing. Yes, but wasting it is not. It doesn't help. It doesn't hurt. I, I will gladly use it. Um, if I can be helped through Hero? the process yeah. again. Where's my actions? Where's the big ones? They're down there. Okay. So. Click this. No, this. The no, the last, the last running man. I do that first. Yep. Yeah. And then I do the yeah. longbow. Mm -hmm. Correct. Correct. And then uh, you yeah. deal Wait. the uh, saving throw. Saving throw. The first, That's the, the the first dice after Hail of Thorns. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, yes. Don't This one? That's not one. Where is it? The one on the left. This one. All right. All right. Uh, so now you can just roll your longbow damage. And the goblin drops to the ground, dying. Yo, Lucy, the killer of all things. Great. Not to underestimate Pesci. Okay. That's my second failure. But fortunately, I think that... Uh, Someone will uh, help me here. I hope. I come club the Oryx to death. Try to. Thank you, Roland. We appreciate that. I'm going to take credit for this kill. Um, can uh, somebody come over? Can you go over and stabilize Ryan? I don't have the range to get there, but I can come over to assist. Because my, my range is 25, so I basically have to do a double movement. 
Okay. Um, so I can assist next turn. Okay. So that's my first action is to get to there. And then my second action is to get to here. here. Actually, I'll get here. Um, and then I can't do anything. I can't assist or anything at this time. I would like to assist Garakul with his healing. With his medical check. Okay. 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 But that's all I can do. Um, correct, DM? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And then I am going to go check on Pesci. Okay, so you're going to now stabilize me, Gorkle? Yes, and I'm going to use an inspiration point. Does he already have, already have my assistance, or no? Yeah, I couldn't do that this turn. No, you couldn't no. do that this turn. Okay. Okay. Yay. Let's see if I roll it. I rolled a 20. But you're a disadvantage. I dropped a 20. What is this? Okay, what is what it is? Hold on. Let me just put the stabilized on. The Orox is dead. Hey. Brave Sir Roland. <laughs> Brave Sir Roland. Yay. All right, so what can Lucy do here? Make sure this orc stays dead. Well, the orc is dead. Not yet. Did she, did she have Dying. Me? me? Yeah. I do, but the orc is not actually officially. No, the, the only thing is the goblin is the only thing that's left. Yeah, no. the orc is just... Orc 1 oh, is dying. Oh. So you want... Well, the issue is if she's... I mean... If she can reach goblins, it shouldn't be bad. Um, I would just make sure the other guy is dead. So, attack to... orc 1 again? With your uh, cat claws. Okay. Uh, Untarget goblin um, there. Am I correct? Yes. yes. You strike the orc on the ground, making sure that it stays dead. You are a prime hunter. Look, look out, Pesci, as Scout shoots another one of the goblins trying to rush in. Pesci yells, thanks, Scout. Good eye. Roland comes over to make sure that Lucy is okay, seeing her somewhat wounded. Are you okay? Young man loves cats. I, I, I will be fine. I just need some rest. And go. All right. Um, Garkoy, you're up. Next, right? Uh, so he is going to assist you but in stable. your medical check. He's yeah, but Ryan isn't. Ryan is not. It is. He is stable now. Look. No, he is. Is he? Oh, it says he is. Oh, yeah. Oh, he must have just. Yep, that was his last. That, there it was. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Hazard. I, I didn't see that it had just clicked over. 
<sighs> okay, so really, someone wants to go over and uh, and make sure Goblin Six is dead, and I guess that would be it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, Pesci, Pesci uh, goes over. Yeah, and... we we we're gonna drop out of uh, initiative here, and uh, as you guys are finishing off the last of the orcs and goblins, you yeah. see a uh, thick smoke begin to rise as it as it comes from the nearby village you guys can see this smoke right uh rolling in and you know that uh something is happening you know to the to the west where the village is is the village to, to, uh, is the village burning? Does it look like the village is burning? Oh, there's there's definitely a lot of smoke, but you guys would have to roll perception to see what you can all see. You're unconscious. Uh, are we all back yet? Or are we not back? Well, mo- most oh. of you are unconscious. Can I roll perception then? Yes. Wait, why are we bringing Elodie back? She's unconscious. Because right now we don't have, um, I don't think anybody has any. Uh, Everyone. Yeah, so yeah. you guys can't quite tell. It's just, it's a lot of smoke rolling in, and, you know, where there's smoke, there's fire. Skills. Yeah. All right. Um, Hold on. Let's see if Lucy sees anything. Uh, Lucy, with your cat-like senses, you can smell the the burning wood and hay. There is definitely a fire coming from the west. Okay. How much uh, time do we have here? Because, uh, I mean, so Ryan and Zarash and Elodie are all stable, but we can't really... I guess we can scout ahead to see what's going on, but I don't really feel comfortable leaving them here. So we can go and see what's going on. Yes. Maybe we can ask Scout to go figure out what's going on. Scout? Care to do your namesake? Um, Pesci is going to quickly go through um, the orc leader's uh, belongings to see if maybe there's anything that he has that could give us more information. Uh, Yeah, go ahead and roll an investigation. I'm sorry, Hazard, but I can't answer for a player that's not here. Why is it going disadvantage? <laughs> because you're exhausted after having been dropped. Oh, uh, gotcha. So we need to do a rest. Yeah, that's the unique uh, feature of the uh, of of the games of this guess, game. Yeah, well, He's over here. you know, other otherwise, if you get knocked out three times and come back, it's like you're just totally fine as if you were, you know, not knocked out at all. That's like, you know, doesn't help with the suspension of disbelief all the time. All right. So can we do a short rest then um, while we try to recover? I don't know what else we can do at this time. Because we still have, we have players that are not currently here. You do, you guys do have players who aren't currently here, and so I will grant that it's hard to, you know, decide exactly what you want to do moving forward. Um, however, uh, before you guys can complete a short rest, you should at least discuss amongst yourselves what exactly it is that you would like to see happen. Um, if it's short rest, long rest, go, you know, go here, go there, stay here, stay there, you know, whatever, whatever it is, you, you guys should kind of figure out in character what your characters want to do. And then we'll, we'll use that when the players are back next session to determine exactly where you end up. Gotcha. 
Um, are we at this point? I guess we need to determine if we are covered here, um, so that way we can actually do a rest. Uh, it, I, like we can't really rest here if you know there's going to be more goblins coming into attack. And additionally, if the town is lost, then we need to get going. Like we don't have time to rest here. Um. But we have people who are unconscious. It's not like... Yes, and there's also that, too. So we would need to move them away from this location as well. So, I guess... What's dependent is... Um, what I would like to ask Scout is for him to, you know, sneak up, see what's going on. Um, Lucy... Pesci asks you if you can find a place that we can... You know, gather everybody and try to, uh, you know, recover for a little bit, you know, to catch our breath. That's like a safe location. Um, is, there, uh, is there something we can roll for in terms of skills like uh, nature or um, survival uh, for me to figure out where a good place nearby would be for us to be? Yeah. Can you guys hear me? I can hear you. Yes. And uh, so what I was going to say was, first of all, uh, Pesci, um, you get back another point of inspiration uh, for, you know, the that idea. And, and then what happens is uh, somebody rolls for survival, if that's what they're doing, and... Um, the uh, scout, although I can't speak for the player for like most things, him like just doing a quick little scout up ahead, I I can do that. But I'm not gonna roll for him. Instead, he's just gonna slip up ahead, and uh, you guys don't know what information he has until he gets back. Okay, um, Lucy, I, I can assist you in your survival check looking around that's about the best i can do right now because this this uh um this exhaustion okay so i'll roll for survival i'm assisting you yeah so if if you go ahead and roll for assistance and then if you if you manage to give advantage we'll just have lucy roll one more time but not with advantage all right roll. you do manage to give advantage so now lucy you just roll normally don't don't click advantage no not not you goracool i know i'm just rolling my all survival right. so, check so you do manage to uh, spot, you know, that this this place is in the hills. And so this this river kind of meanders through uh, a little cave system, you know, just like all the kobolds and everything from before. You guys can go try and find shelter in one of the caves. And I imagine Bitey helps with that. And Unconscious. Ryan, Zarash. So we can pair up. And we'll have to drag them. And get them to shelter. Yes? Yeah, man, I'm as light as a feather. What are you talking about? I'm a light point bear. <laughs> yes. And Who's I... the strongest person to take? Them? I'm a Lucy. Carry me the way you always do. Uh, Pesci will assist Ryan, since Ryan is Pesci's size. Uh, can Scout assist uh, Elodie? Well, Scout moved ahead to figure out what's going on. I thought he came back. Did he come back at this point? I mean, it's I mean, not. he's not going too far away, and we're quickly looking to find a spot that we can hide and recover. 
Oracle of this one, since he's he, right he is not going very far away, very but far due away. to the fact that the player isn't here, I'm just going to have him scouting for the rest of this session, unless we were to advance hours, you know, in, in which case I would make a decision. But we're not going to be advancing hours. Uh, pretty much um, the, the way it's going to go uh, is... You guys need to, you know, drag everybody, which is going to require strength checks. Strength check. But you can also just kind of wait around and see if everybody wakes up. So it's your call. Uh, we can wait a little bit to see if they can wake up. I mean, Scout is going to look around and see what's going on. We'll keep an eye out. Um, I, rolled, I rolled a 14 for a strength check. I think we should wait to see if they'll wake up first on them by themselves for like a little bit, but not too long. Right, so um, place. Lucy, can I assist you in investigating? The I mean, I guess I can't really assist. I don't know. I'm concerned about the goblin boss and the orc boss. Like, I want to see if they had anything that could give us information. Okay. Um, uh, do we just roll for investigation? Yeah, I am at. I am too tired to do it correctly. <laughs> Pesci is really struggling to maintain consciousness. He's really hurting. Okay. Well, I'm. You saw him at one point almost nod off as he was looking through things. <laughs> okay. Um. Do you want me to roll for investigation, or would you like uh, Goracol to also do it? Yeah, I mean, if you guys want to search the the bodies or whatever, you know, you 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 can yeah. definitely uh, do that. Um, but first, in order for everybody else to get involved, everybody who's unconscious, roll a Constitution check. Hold on. Uh, um, LED, LED's left. Uh, she had to do something, so let me get to Ryan and Constitution check. Let's see. Abilities, right? Opposed to saves, or do it as a save? It'd be a skill or a save. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it's a check, and um, I am I am going to open up Elodie for you. Because everybody, you don't. Want everybody who gets above a ten wakes up. Okay. Uh, well, obviously Zara should not. Back in a moment. Elodie's up. And Zarish is still not. So you got Elodie up and you got Ryan up. The bugbear's still asleep. Looks like like Big and Harry is still looks like Big and Harry is still still knocked out. So um let's uh drag him and head to the cave. The caves. Um, is that something I lead to, or what happens? Does that work? How does that work? Uh, I no. I think I think the DM simply makes that happen. Okay. Is everyone okay with that? Let's head to shelter so we can rest. Yep. I guess it would just be Yeah, and we're going to and we're going to uh have it be to where um Scout has not quite arrived back yet. The rest of the party has woken up. Zarosh is still unconscious. You guys have decided to head towards the caves and are trying to figure out how to move the enormously heavy bugbear. And that is where the curtains close and we end this session. 
of Dragons of War. I want to thank you guys for playing. I want to thank anyone who's watching. And as always, everyone, good, good gaming! gaming.